Okay, um, we continue with the question uh, uh, 20, 26, question 26, question 26, because uh, uh, the video I posted, uh, something happened, uh, stops, so we continue with question 26. So question 26, uh, so okay, um, it's a 45 degrees, 45 degrees here, 45 degrees. Here 90 degrees. So here 45 degrees. This is high incident angle because normal line to the incident height. So 45 degrees. So this 45 degrees, this whole thing is 90 degrees. So is this also 45 degrees? This is R, angle of reflection. So the incident angle is the incident angle is more than critical angle. The critical angle is 42, the incident angle is 45. Incident angle. So incident angle is more than critical angle. The light experiences total internal reflection. The light experiences total internal reflection. Okay? Because incident angle is more than critical angle. So I would like to take uh, this opportunity to teach you something else. Uh, if uh, the incident angle it is um, okay, uh, okay. Let's say the incident angle uh, Right. Let's say that incident angle is uh, 40 degrees. 40 degrees. What's the 40 degrees, please? The incident angle is uh, lesser than uh, critical angle. Critical angle is 42. So, incident angle is less than critical angle. What happens the light ray? What happens the light ray? The light ray experiences uh, refraction. Refraction. So this one is refreshing out of the medium. So uh, we call it away from normal, away from normal because the light ray is passing through uh, lens and coming out from the air. So it's higher density, lower density. So higher density from higher density, lower density, the air, the light reflected uh, away from normal. Uh, the light reflected away from normal. So this is the uh, I is less than C. In the I less than C, 40 degrees. So C is, C is 42. C is 42. Okay. At the same time, if an incident angle, uh, let's say, uh, third, third angle. Okay. Let's say the incident angle. Uh, let's say the incident angle is uh, 42 degrees. This is I. The incident angle 42, the critical angle 42. The incident angle 42, the critical angle 42. What about light ray? The light ray will travel on the surface. The light ray travel on the surface. The light ray travel on the surface because the incident angle, the incident angle equals to critical angle. The incident angle 42, critical angle 42. The light ray experiences. Uh, refraction but on the surface interface like interface they call it when the incident angle less than critical angle incident angle less than critical angle incident angle is 40 the critical angle is 42 the light ray refracted out from the medium the light ray refracted out from the medium when the incident angle is more than critical angle when the incident angle more than critical angle the light experience total internal reflection total internal reflection there are three situations you must learn. You must learn because you always ask this question in exam about critical angle, about total into reflection. Okay, you must know this one. Incident angle is equal to C, light ray reflect, uh, reflect on the surface. Incident angle less than critical angle, the light ray reflect out from the medium. Incident angle is more than C, more than C, C is critical angle. The light experiences total internal reflection. Total internal reflection. Okay. Uh, we move on. We move on. Because like this, uh, we we take this opportunity. We learn one question. Because I can, I would have given the answer A. Simple answer. I gave experience. I this. That's all. But why I go? I uh, why, why 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 do I need? What is the need for me to experience one? Because they come. Uh, question can come from like this also. So. This how 
for one question, from one question, we're going to pick up some other questions potential. Okay, so we learn all these things. Okay, so uh, question based revision is best, I think better. Okay, instead of teaching notes and all that. Okay, question based revision, so we can cover all things, we cover many things. We, never mind, we, we, we slow in doing questions, never mind. But we can cover all things, the whole syllabus we cover. And objective questions are the best questions. Because from one question, I can link to the other questions. The link to the other questions. What is one of the uh, potential question from the uh, from the question they ask exam or they ask a uh, question paper? What is the other potential questions? So other question related associated with the question. So like this we do revision. Okay, question number twenty seven. Question twenty seven is another interesting question. Another question, interesting question. Question 27. Uh, diagram 27 shows I, an object O, formed convex by convex lens. What is the focal length of the lens? What is the focal length of the lens? Okay. So, uh, this question is... Okay, this question. Okay, this question, you can... Uh, Normally, the object is left hand side, image on left hand side. But this one, object on the right hand side, image on left hand side. The same now, same. So this one is like this. This one, uh, for, uh, okay. And uh, this image, this object. This image is object. The image, other side of object. The image, other side of object. Okay. Object one side, image other side. So the image must be real image. Real and inverted image. Inverted. Image inverted. Upside down. And uh, the distance. The distance of the image to the object. The distance from the image to the object is 40 cm. 40 cm. What is the distance the object? This or distance uh, 16 cm. Image distance 16 cm. 16 cm. This B. B is image distance. So image distance 16 cm. 16 minus 40. What is the um, what you call uh, object distance? Object distance U must be 24 cm. 24 plus 10, 20, 10, 30, 24 cm. Okay, object distance, the object distance is a 24 cm now. Okay, the object distance is 24 cm. Okay, the object distance is 24 cm. And, um, uh, and the image distance is 60 cm. Object distance 24 cm, image distance 16 cm. Okay, so what is the formula? We have to use the formula. So the V is 16 cm, image distance 16 cm, object distance 24 cm. By, uh, most of the time, objects on the right uh, left hand side, image on the uh, right hand side. But here, this case, image on the right hand side, image, uh, object, uh, sorry, object on the right hand side, image on the left hand side, it's the same thing, uh, same thing. So we have to use 1 over u plus 1 over v equals to 1 over. 1 over u plus 1 over v equals to 1 over f. So in this formula, we can uh, we can get 1, one over u. Okay. When, when, when we use this formula, 1 over v minus 1 over u. 1 over u minus 1 over v equals 1 over v. We use this formula when the object and image on the same side. When the object and image on the same side, virtual image. Virtual image. We get virtual image. This for the real image because object one side, image another side. So we have to use the formula plus. Object and image is same side. The object and the image same side. Okay, the object here and the image here. So same side, use the formula minus. So you will get virtual image. Virtual image. 
Okay, so in this formula, 1 over u is uh, 1 over 16 plus, uh, uh, so 1 over u is 1 over 24. 24, 1 over 16 is 1 over 4. Okay, um, this one is uh, times 3, is it times 3, times 3. Times two. So sixteen and three is forty eight. I think thirty sixteen thirty sixteen sixteen plus sixteen thirty two thirty two plus sixteen thirty four eight. Okay. So so the number is uh, two plus three. So five five of forty eight equals to one over f. So f equals to forty eight over five. Forty eight over five. So this answer is. Uh, F equals to 9.6 cm. F equals to 9.6 cm. This is a focal length. Right? This is a focal length. Okay. Uh, let's move on to question number 20, 28. Question 28. Which diagram shows a transverse wave with amplitude 4 cm, the wave flag 8 cm? The wave flag 8 cm. Question answer is 28 is A. The wave flank is a uh, peak to peak or uh, trough to trough, crest to crest. The wave flank you measure crest to crest or trough to trough. Here is trough to trough. Trough to trough is 8 cm, so wave flank 8 cm. They tell you the wave flank, wave flank 8 cm and the amplitude, amp amplitude is maximum displacement. Huh? Amplitude maximum displacement. That is. So this is maximum displacement, this amplitude. Amplitude equals to 4 C. The amplitude is 4 C. And the wave flank, this wave flank, and the wave flank is equals to 8 C. Lambda equals to 8 C. Crash to crash, so trough to trough. So trough to trough. Lambda 8 C. So crash to crash also wave flank. Crash to crash also wave flank. This also must 8 C. If this, if this, 8, if this uh, wave flank is 8 C, means trough to trough. Crash to crash also 8 cm. 8 cm. Another way, a wave flank is uh, measured from the one complete wave. Distance to make one complete wave. This one, this also, distance to make one complete wave. Lambda equals 8 cm. Lambda equals 8 cm. Distance to make one complete wave. So, so, so many ways you can get a, a wave flank. Uh, so many ways you get wave flank. Wave flank crash to crash. Uh, trough to trough and distance to make one complete uh, what do you call it one complete oscillation is also wave flank uh, so wave flank 8 cm and amplitude 4 cm so answer is a answer a question 30 question 30 diagram 29 shows an image of unborn baby obtained by using an ultrasound by using an ultrasound huh? okay what is the question okay and uh, what is the wavelength of the ultrasound in the mother's womb? The frequency of the ultrasound is 2 times 10 power 6. The speed of ultrasound uh, is 1500. Okay. I will teach you this one. How they, how they, because this question can come up as a question. They come up as a question. Ultrasound. Ultrasound can question come up. So, I will, um, I will take this opportunity to teach you an uh, ultrasound question, ultrasound question. So some, some points, you know, some points here and there, it's essay question points. You must remember, ultrasound question can come from uh, to essay question also, or structure question also. Okay, some, some, some points, uh, some, uh, some uh, what you call characteristic and explanation, okay. So this is a, a baby, uh, this is a mouse, uh, what you call stomach, stomach. Okay, it's a womb, uh, womb uh, okay, it's a baby, okay, it's a baby, baby lake, uh, uh, it's hand, okay, it's hand. So, uh, the ultrasound, ultrasound, they use a transducer, they use a transducer, they use a transducer, transducer means something like a changing, something like a wave flow. So, the transducer, and they put a liquid, they put a liquid, uh, something, Something low shares of the liquid, uh, they put liquid. Okay. Uh, this because my experience, 
because of my experience, because experience of that, I've done this question, I've seen some questions, because past experience, 30 years experience, I've seen some questions that is ultra some questions, some questions they ask you. So by the grace of God, I can tell you, it's okay, liquid. Okay, the liquid. The liquid, why they, they, they put liquid? They put it, uh, the liquid and the transistor, they put it, uh, what do you call it, uh, around the stomach. They push around the stomach or they, they slide through the stomach, slide, slide. So, uh, green chill, uh, green chill. So, the liquid is a two purpose, purpose, two purpose. One purpose to avoid the friction, to avoid the friction, friction the stomach and transfusion. Friction. So, the liquid, they put lotion, something lotion. But not important thing, the important thing is very important. It's not only friction, the important, our, our, our what do you call it, uh, what you call related to our physics concept this is the second point. The first point friction everybody knows. Everybody knows okay it's easy to move the transition because liquid means stomach means something like a, a friction is there. So if you put liquid the smooth smooth the transducer that is a transducer the transducer okay the wire uh, wire transducer and the transducer wire can uh, the transducer can move smoothly can move smoothly you can avoid friction, so that's liquid. But our concept, concept, why they use the liquid? Between transducer and the stomach. Between transducer and the stomach, why they use the liquid? The liquid, because they use liquid, because liquid is a very good um, sound conductor. Sound conductor. Because um, the sound moves fastest the sound moved fastest in the solid in the solid solid Mouth, sound move fastest in the fastest fast sorry fastest in the solid the sound move faster in liquid so sound move faster in water or liquid lab. and sound move the slowest in the air by right but we take we take uh, when we take sound move uh, faster in the uh, uh, in the air for us. But actually speaking, sound move fastest in the solid because the molecules atoms are very close. Sound need uh, what we call medium to propagate. The medium to propagate. So sound the molecules uh, vibrate closer. Uh, so a little bit further is water or liquid. The furthest is uh, the liquid. Uh, the molecules are furthest in the air. So is a uh, uh, what do you call it the transducer what do you call it uh, the conduct conductivity of the sound or sound conductor is a little bit lesser or uh, move slower because from one molecule to another molecule is a little bit further distance the fastest is the molecules arranged in molecules in the solid so solid is a molecule can arrange uh, quickly la. so sound move quickly so sound move or sound fastest movement fastest Fastest in the solid, faster in the liquid, and uh, close in the air or in the we call it in the air or the vacuum. The vacuum cannot move. Sound move cannot move at all uh, in the air or in the in the gas. You know? Sound move slows. Okay, so this is a uh, because they want to use a conductor, sound conductor. Because this ultrasound, ultrasound is a sound. What is ultrasound? High frequency sound. High frequency sound, more than 20 kilohertz frequency. So they send a sound, they send the sound, ultrasound, they send the sound here and they reflect back. Within microsecond, they reflect back. The reflection. The reflection. So based on the reflection, they send this reflection, they send this reflection, they send this reflection. So they move around the stomach, around the stomach. So they got reflection, the reflected sound wave. Sound wave reflected by the body of the baby or body of the fetus. So reflected. The reflected sound wave, they put it in the computer, they put it in the computer and trace it at the baby. Trace it at the baby. Reflected sound wave. Reflected ultrasound wave. More precisely, what I say. Reflected ultrasound wave. So you must understand this one. Ultrasound, high frequency sound wave. What is the meaning of trans transducer? Transducer to, to we call it to send a a high frequency ultrasound into stomach and the liquid the liquid they use the liquid to for two purposes one to avoid friction to prevent friction the important, the important thing is 
sound wave conducts sound wave conducts better in liquid so better in liquid so it can go faster it can go faster in liquid it can go faster in liquid that's why they're using liquid now. between transducer and uh, stomach is used in this liquid okay um, okay this question and uh, we samadana lambda f uh, sorry we use can use this formula um, you can use um, uh, what do you call it um, this formula uh, okay Okay, um, uh, this formula, okay, uh, D, uh, D equals to BTO2. You can use this formula, you can use so D registers every given distance. Okay, so we can use this formula. So we use this formula V Samadana lambda F. So the V, the velocity. The velocity of the sound wave is uh, 1500 and the lambda we don't know, the frequency is uh, 2 times 10 power 6 hertz. So there's nothing, it's no direct, it's a direct question, nothing to change. Right? So the, the speed is meter per second, okay, meter per second speed. If they give centimeter per second, it must change meter per second. Right? The speed is meter per second and the frequency is in hertz. 2 times 10 power 8. You know, hertz of 3 kilo, then you must change hertz. Right? So, lambda equals to, based on this one, is 7.5. 7 the lambda is 7.5 times power negative 4 meter. 7.5. 7.5 times 10 power negative 4 meter. So, lambda equals 7.5 times 10 power negative 4 uh, meter. 7.5 times 10 power negative 4 meter. That is called, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the wavelength. Uh, the wavelength. Wavelength. Okay. And um, question number 30. Diagram mm. 30 shows a plane wave, water wave traveling towards the L shaped barrier in a ripple tank. Um, the answer is a D. Uh. Answer is D. Okay. Uh, L shape. This one is L shape. Uh, so L shape is like this and like this and like this. So this one. So this one is coming like this. So and it must be flame on the same, not be flame on the same. It's a reflection. Reflection, wave flame on the same. Okay, reflection, wave flame on the same. Okay. And uh, question number 31. 31, question 31. Uh, diagram 31 shows the wave patterns so that uh, sorry to add the paper so small because the previous is I gave the paper uh, photosynthesis paper because it's very expensive for this the paper as it is so I will shrink the paper because I, uh, I have to give the under all people and all these people so it's uh, very expensive so you have to shrink the paper cost controller okay please understand this one Okay, uh, that's why I put uh, I I gave the second second uh, second one I posted to you a uh, bit bigger enlarge uh, enlarge the half half pages I do. But next time next time paper two the paper two the paper one is paper two I got this paper paper two I take the original and and uh, I post it to you uh, I scan and send to you or I, I photo send send to you. Okay, send to the WhatsApp uh, Okay, this one is original one, so the bigger character, bigger character. don't worry, okay, I take the original one, original uh, tape paper, la. original paper, so this paper is a very, very shrinked and paper, so small paper, okay, and question number 31, uh, so the pattern, principal tank, and sloping, base, uh, secular, vibrator, as, as, which statement is true, uh, answer B, answer, from the answer, I have, uh, teach you, la. answer, letter, uh, go to one through, uh, uh, go through one by one answer. It takes time. So answer B. Region Y is deeper than region X. Region Y is deeper than region X. Why? Why? This is called wave front. Wave front. Okay. This wave front. Wave front. This is wave front. 
This wave front is a region X. So this is a region X. X. So lambda here, lambda here. And this region Y. Region Y, the region Y, the lambda is here. So this uh, lambda 1 and lambda 2. So the deeper area, the deeper area, the deep the wave, when the wave moves in deeper area, the wave will have a bigger wave length or larger wave length. Okay, the wave is deeper area because the wave front from one line to another line is called lambda. From wave front to wave front is called lambda. So lambda is a deeper area, it's a bigger wave length compared to a shallow area, it's a smaller wave length. Smaller wave length. So the answer is B. Region Y is deeper than region X. Region Y is deeper than region X because wave length is bigger than uh, region Y. Wave length and region Y is bigger than wave length and region X. Okay. Question number 32. Question number 32. Um, diagram 32 shows the water being diffracted after passing through a slit. Which the emission action will produce circular diffracted wave? Which wave? Which action will produce circular diffracted wave? Okay. Uh, for example, this one, this one. Um, this is a gap. The deep big gap. So the wave like this. So it's like this. So this is this is a wave. It's bigger gap. So the decrease the size of the slit. Size of slit means size of the gap. If you decrease the size of the gap, decrease size of the gap. If the gap like this, uh, sorry, the gap like this, the gap. So gap is smaller gap compared to bigger gap. The bigger gap uh, will have a not obvious diffraction pattern. Uh, diffraction pattern is not obvious. So it's almost same, almost plain width. Almost plain width, a bit of band, a bit of band, band and edge, band and edge. So it's almost plain width. Before and after, space coming at it, before and after, and uh, because bigger gap. So, if the gap is small, the gap is small, the wave like this, the wave coming like this, the gap uh, this is bigger. bigger. But the gap is the, the lambda, but we see lambda, let's say lambda is 10 c, here lambda also 10 c. Here lambda 10 c, here lambda also 10 c. Lambda is going to be the same. Okay, but diffraction. Uh, we call it uh, diffraction. It's called a circular reflux. So the answer is um, uh, answer is D. Decrease the size of the slit. Size of the slit means size of the gap. La. Size of the slit means size of the gap. Okay. Uh, next question 33. Question number 33. Um, Diagram 33 shows the position of the loud and the soft sound produced by along the line PQ. Audio signal generator is switched on. This, uh, this is called interference of sound wave. Interference of sound wave. Okay. And um, the distance between the consecutive loud sound X will decrease if. If. Uh, F decrease. M is increase M. M is distant from the okay. Distant M is distant from the answer A. Like, M is distant from the loudspeaker to the where we get loud sound or soft sound. The distance between the two loss, uh, loud sound X. Loud sound, soft sound, the PQ. Loud sound, soft sound, loud sound, soft sound, loud sound, soft sound. This is one of the what you call impact uh, of the sound wave interference, like impact of sound wave interference. Okay, loud sound, soft sound, loud sound, soft sound. Okay, and uh, we got this this formula. Uh, I will teach you based on answer uh, because uh, I want I don't want to teach every answer and wasting time. Uh, based on answer M M is increase A answer A. So uh, lambda equals to A X per D. X means distance between the loud sound. Distance between loud sound. A means distance between two loudspeaker. Distance between two loudspeakers, that's the speaker that is this called A. Okay, and uh, this loud sound and soft sound. Loud sound, soft sound, loud sound, soft sound. So you hear loud sound, soft sound, loud sound, soft sound, loud sound, soft sound. So the distance between two loud sounds is X. 
distance between two log sum is x of distance between two soft sum is x, but we take mostly we take distance between two log sum is x. Distance between two log sum x. So the distance between uh, the loudspeaker, distance between loudspeaker, distance between loudspeaker, and uh, the distance between the loudspeaker and uh, where you hear the loud sound and uh, we call soft sound. This is called distance. This distance called t. But here we call m. Here we call m. Okay, m. So it's a a distance between two loudspeaker. D the distance d. D means M la for this question M is M and X is distributed to log sum. So if the question asking you uh, if the distance between consecutive log sum X will increase, will increase, when will increase. Okay. So if we use this formula, this is how we must do the question. Lambda D equals to AX. So D D means M la M. Based on answer. Based on answer A, M is increased. So D increase. So equal D directly proportional. So D directly proportional X. Directly proportional. So uh, D increase, X increase. So D is M. D is M. D is distance between the loudspeaker. So from the loudspeaker, where you get loud sound and soft sound. This is distance D. D is equals M. So M or D increase, X increase. So this is how we use the formula. Sometimes uh, they will call uh, A, A increase, okay, uh, for example, uh, the lambda D equals to AX, so AX equals to lambda D, so the A equals to lambda D or X, so um, A increase, X decrease, is A increase, so the distance between two loud speaker increase, X distance between two loud speaker decrease, so this is how we must do for the question now. You must use the formula to, to manipulate the formula. Okay, manipulate the formula. Okay, question number 32, answer 33 is answer A. 34, uh, which statement is not uh, property of electromagnetic wave? Property electro, not property electro wave. Answer C, require medium to propagate. Okay, the electromagnetic wave. First electromagnetic wave is what? Seven electromagnetic wave, radio wave, microwave, uh, infrared visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray and um, gamma ray, the 7 electromagnetic wave, you must know the 7 electromagnetic wave spectrum in order, in order, you must know in order. So the 7 electromagnetic wave, it doesn't, they, they don't need a medium to propagate. Sound wave, they need a medium to propagate. Whether it's infrasound, ultrasound or sound wave, normal sound, they need a medium to propagate or medium to move. Propagate means move. Lah. So, need, need medium to propagate. Sound wave. But electromagnetic waves, the, they don't need the seven electromagnetic waves. They, do, they don't need a medium to propagate. A medium to propagate. So, this is a question number 34. Answer C. Lah. Uh, 35. Uh, 35. Uh. Diagram 35 shows uh, the shape of the candle flame when the candle is placed between the uh, two plate X and Y which are connected uh, to an EHT power supply. What are the charge on the plate X and plate Y? Ah, this one is very very important. We learned this sometime. Uh, we learned something uh, electricity talk, topic electricity second topic. We learn, we learn this one somewhere in somewhere second topic second, second topic la. so this topic la, so okay this one is, this is a candle flame this candle flame that is initially that is but between the plates between the plate uh, positive and uh, negative plate cause electro uh, sorry uh, electrostatic or electro uh, uh, electric field strong electric field because strong electric field because this is connected EHT Extra tension, so maybe three thousand volt, maybe uh, maybe two thousand five hundred. So very very high voltage. So initially it will be going straight, but later part, later part, according to here, the flame. Ah, this flame, like this. So watch which which plate. So which plate X and Y, X and Y, X and Y. Which plate is positive, which plate negative? 
This plate is positive, this plate negative. I know this one very well, very well. Because uh, at positive plate, the ions which move at the positive plate, negative ions. Negative ions are smaller in size. Smaller in size. So negative ions. So you move very fast. Very, very fast. It's very fast. But positive ions attract bigger and heavier. Bigger and heavier positive ion. Bigger and heavier positive ion drag the flame. Drag the flame towards the negative plate. It move a little bit slower. Move a little bit slower. So it drag the flame. Because the positive and heavier ions. Positive ions. Bigger, positive and heavier. Or bigger, bigger and heavier positive ions. So drag the flame. Drag the flame. It drag the flame. So it, because it drag the flame. And that's why uh, uh, we call it... Uh, uh, this uh, this uh, negative plate, uh, this negative plate, positive ions, positive ion attracted to a negative plate, and negative ion attracted positive plate. But uh, negative ion is smaller in size, so it moves very fast. So this frame. Is, so the answer is um, A. Uh, X by positive plate, Y by negative plate. This answer. Question thirty six. Question 36. This one is electricity, uh, electricity, electricity uh, under electric field. They learn. Question 36. Uh, diagram uh, 36 shows uh, nine identical resistors connected to two, three, uh, three different circuit X, Y, and Z. Okay. Okay, um, which statement is correct for uh, Ix and Iy and Iz? Mm -hmm. Okay, which uh, statement is Ix, Iy and Iz? So answer B. Ix lower than Iz. I uh, bigger. Uh, I Iy is. I Y is bigger than I Z and lower than I, I X. I X smaller than I Z. I Z smaller than I Y because the I Y, the current, I Y is a parallel, parallel resistor. Parallel resistor current is highest because lowest resistance. Parallel resistor, the answer Y. Y is highest current, highest current because the resistor, parallel resistor are lowest resistance. Parallel resistance are lowest resistance. And uh, second one is uh, Z. Uh, second one Z is uh, because combined, uh, series of parallel. And uh, current and Y and X. Current X and X. Current and X must be lowest current because highest resistance. Okay? Current and X is the lowest because highest resistance. Current and Y is uh, lowest current. Sorry, uh, sorry. Current and Y is highest current because lowest resistance. Because lowest resistance. Okay, current and Y is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, is highest current because lowest resistance. Because resistance arranged in parallel. When the resistance arranged in parallel, resistance is lowest. Total resistance is lowest. Current is X. Resistor, resistor arranged in series. So highest resistor, current is lowest. Highest resistor, current is lowest. And uh, Z is in between uh, because combined. Uh, because combined. And um, uh, I finished this question, sir. So, um, uh, okay, question number. Because this question, question number uh, 14, 37 and 38 uh, uh, after 38 I finished 38 uh. okay question 37 diagram 37 shows an electric circuit the calculate the total current flowing in the circuit so this is very very simple uh. very very simple so what is total current total current okay And the resistor is the least. Uh, 
register is and the register is uh, 2 ohm so this emitter okay you flow the current now current this is total current total current flow through the emitter total current come here the current will split to i1 and split i2 the current will split current will split at a point current will split i1 and i2 split to split current and the i1 and i2 they join back i2 they join back b I1 and I2 join back become I current, total current. So total current here and here when the same. Total current here and here when the same. So it's splitting here and join back here. Splitting here and join back here. So splitting here, splitting and then join back. So um, based on this one, uh, they are asking the total, currently total current. Total current is I not current, total current. So this one is a uh, uh, the voltage 3 volt, uh, the voltage 3 volt. Total voltage 3 volt, 3.0. So we have to find total resistance. We find total resistance. Total resistance. Total resistance is 1 over R D because 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Because it's a parallel resistor. Parallel resistor is a parallel formula. So 1 over R1. R1 is 6. R2 is a 2. So times uh, times 3 times 3. Okay. So uh, 3 plus 1, 4 over 6. 4 over 6. This 1 over RT. Now don't forget this one. 1 over RT. 1 over RT is 4 over 6. 1 over RT, 4 over 6. RT, RT 1 is 6 over 4. You must remember this one. You must reverse, reverse it. Parallel resistor, very important. You must reverse it. This one must be 1.5. 1.5. Uh, 1.5 I think so uh, this one is 2 and 3 yeah 2 3 you have a 2 3 or 2 3 or 2 ohm okay 3 or 2 ohm is uh, 1.5 and 1.5 Okay, 1.5 is 1.5 ohm because I don't know it. Okay, 1.5 ohm and uh, because 1.5 ohm and uh, this one resistor is 1.5 ohm. The total okay, total current is I R T. Total voltage 3 volt. Total voltage 3 volt. Total current we don't know. Total resistance 1.5. So this one I must be 1.5 divided 3 is 2 ampere. The total current is 2 ampere. The total current is 2 ampere. Total current is 2 ampere. Okay. Okay. Now, this question is like this. Okay. This question total current is 2 ampere. The current is uh, C answer C. Okay. Now, I ask a question. I ask a question. This one is a side back, uh, side track little bit. Right? Okay. What is the current I1 and I2? What is current I1 and I2? Current I1 and I2. This total current is uh, 2 ampere. 2 ampere. I1, I2, what is current? So I1, I2 to find, you take total voltage. Total is a parallel resistor. The voltage is going be same. 3 volt and 3 volt. Parallel resistor, voltage will be same. 3 volt, 3 volt. So this one R1, R2. So V1. So V1, I1, R1. So V1, the voltage 1 and V1. The V1 is 3 volt. V2 also 3 volt. So the V1 the 3 volt. The voltage will be same. I1 we don't know. R1 we know 6. R1 6, 6 ohm. So I1 is first thing. Uh, 3 divided by 6. No? Say 1 over uh, uh, 1 over 2. 1 over 2. So uh, 0 0.5 ampere. This is I1. This is I1. This is I1. Okay, and uh, okay, uh, V2, I2, R2, this one, this, voltage is uh, 3 volt also, I2 we don't know, R2 we know, uh, 2 ohm, 2 ohm resistor, so the I2 equals to 3 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 ampere, so this is uh, 0 0.5 ampere, 
which is 1.5 MPa. So 0 0.5 plus 1.5 is 2 MPa, current 2 MPa. So it's correct, the answer is correct. Okay, so I'll your question. Okay, uh, question 40, uh, when the, the 38, 38. When an electric kettle labeled to 2040 volt, 1000 volt is connected to 120 volt power supply, the water is kettle boiled is 10 minutes. What is the time taken for the water to boil if the electric kettle is connected to 200 volt? By right, by right, the kettle need 240 volt because kettle labeled 240 volt. So they put lower voltage. They connect lower voltage. By right, kettle need 240 volt to be connected. But because it's labeled 240 volt, but the 220 volt they connect 200 lesser, lesser little bit. 220 volt they call lesser 240. So it needs a 10 minutes to boil up. So what is our time taken for 200 volt? Some more lesser voltage. So more than 10 minutes. More than 10 minutes. It's boiled more than 10 minutes. Answer C. Okay, answer C. Okay. Because it's 240 